From politics into health, when KTN News visited laser eye surgery two months ago, the doctors were about to embark on a historic surgery, the first ever stem cell transplant for the cornea. Theirs was a bet that this will restore vision. Did it work? Dr. Masi Korir kept tabs on that story and gives us the verdict. Yeah. On the 15th day of January 2019, we joined Susan as she was about to undergo a historic eye surgery, stem cell transplant to rejuvenate her cornea. The aim of this surgery was to restore her vision after she suffered a chemical injury to her right eye while she was in high school. And... I can see images, the colors, yeah, but the vision is getting better day by day. And you've recovered? Dr. Mukesh Joshi is a proud doctor, proud and happy that this premier surgery has borne tangible results and it can only get better. Because of the chemical damage of the stem cells, cornea is completely cloudy and the blood vessels are running over the cornea. You can see the difference after seven weeks all those stem cells started repopulating here and because of that cornea's nutrition has improved and this is the first time we can see the structure of the iris the pupil it has been a seven weeks of regular follow-up and strict adherence to the doctor's instructions to get susan her vision back first of all i was not supposed to get in contact with water in the eye I was supposed to relax, take some days off. Dr. Joshi harvested about 100 stem cells from Susan's good eye and transplanted them using a special glue to her right eye. What happens when both eyes are damaged? Now that is where stem cells, laboratory technology comes in play. From here, Dr. Joshi and the medical fraternity hope that this can only get better to restore vision to the many Kenyans who need this type of surgery. Dr. Masikorir, 